Robert Downey Jr., hello. Hey. I'm, you have to excuse my nerves. I've only ever done this once before. You're doing great. And uh, <laughs> Really? Yeah, already. <laughs> okay. Um, but, yeah, last time I did it, I, I just got very nervous and, and uh, yeah, I, I asked... I asked the uh, lady I was interviewing out for Nando's. It was all a bit of a shambles. But, um, but anyway, um, I saw Iron Man 3 and yes. really enjoyed it. Oh, good. And I'm sure you get asked like a million times, but when you're in the suit, are you, are you naked in the suit? It really you... depends. Depends on the temperature outdoors. Yeah. I once did an audition to try and be Batman. Yes. Um, they were doing like an arena tour. And I had to wear the outfit and go on the underground in the outfit. But I wasn't sure whether to go naked for that or not. And well, it's really every, uh, everyone for themselves. Yeah. You know? In the, in the Batman audition, I had to try doing an American accent, and it was appalling. Let me, let me hear it. I, no. hey, all right, don't worry about it. it was, uh, it's There's just, no reason for anybody to be ashamed here today. I heard your British accent uh, with, with Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. And if I'm honest, uh, I actually thought you were British until... Oh. Until I was until I saw Iron Man three and I did a bit. By the way, so did I. And um, you have to put yourself in the mindset. Because I was going to ask you, how do you do such a good American accent? But I know this is really stupid. But um, I couldn't be happier. But but yeah, like with girls and stuff. Have you ever has anyone ever turned you down? Because it must be amazing being you. You know what? You'd think it should be very amazing being me. I'm I'm the type of guy who likes to be in a committed relationship. So I've totally blown the opportunities. I yeah. would have. I just think if you were if you were out with me and my mates, um, you'd, I'd be a you'd magnet. Ma yeah, well, you'd help us. We'd be rolling in it as a group. You would make us instantly better because, as part of our group, there'd be Iron Man in our right. group, and it would just be a Tony Stark, and it would just be yeah, you know, the ultimate ultimate sort of lad as part of a. I'd like to help. You missed me by about twenty years. I oh, really. Yeah, you, you should have caught me between marriages. If you, it's, it's uh, really yeah. I had some fun then for a minute. It's like if we were on holiday, we always get shirts made up. Yeah. And I don't know if you do this with your mates on like stag dudes or anything like that. But, Sounds fun. Um. So they will go out with like shirts when we go to Cavos or Zanti or Malia or, or places like that, and they'll get their n uh, nicknames on the back. Yeah. A bit like Chango the Beast or <laughs> Cantona or Dugsy or the Convict or people like that. Love it. And I just always like the idea that maybe if you went out with your group of mates, you'd have Iron Man on the back. Or I mean, that just says it all, doesn't it? Or would you have another nickname? Or maybe uh, what was it that um, that Mycroft calls Shir Oh Shirley? That Shirley. Is, yeah, Shirley. Why is that? Because that's what Mycroft calls Sherlock and Sherlock too. Oh right. Yeah. But it's not very. It's not. It doesn't strike. That me might as be a, for a different sort of trip. Yeah, right. Because it doesn't seem like a name that fits your character. Sure. It's like Robert Downey Jr., you know. And You're like right. Legends. I don't know why I have three names. I didn't used to have so many. Yeah. Um, do you like coming to the UK? I love it here. I feel like an honorary Brit, and um, I'm here with the missus, and we got our baby running around. They went to see the changing of the guard. and Yeah. We spend a lot of time here. Um, I have good friends here. Yeah. I think it's incredibly civilized. Do you like... Um, I mean, what is it? Is is that it particularly that you like? You like doing the tourist thing when you're here? Or? I don't know that I've even done all that much. I think there's just look. Back in the '80s, when you were four, <laughs> I used to uh, work here and do stuff, and it was a little bit different. It seemed just kind of dreary, and maybe the food wasn't all that great yet. And yeah. now, it's kind of like this big hub of of you know, planet Earth, and there's just so much incredible and exciting stuff going on here. When you when you come to the UK, do you like? I assume because even being in this this room right now, it's it's probably the poshest place I've I've actually ever been. Yes. And and this hotel itself is incredible. Do you like when when you come to the UK and and you do these kind of things with with Iron Man and and other films? Do you always have to eat in nice restaurants? Is it always, or do you ever get the chance to just go do like a little a, like pretty much challenge or, or yeah. buffet or something? Well, I mean, you know... My mate at Changa, he once did... Uh, we do this challenge every now and then with me and my mates where we kind of go and, and you eat as much as you physically... He did 25 slices. And just like, I would have thought a man like you could yeah. would be the only person that could compete with that. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you, th you think of me in this, in this light. Yeah. Is it gluten-free pizza? Um, is, it, is that what you eat? Well, I would prefer it, yes. I'm sure... I'm sure 
they would be able to do that. Right, but there's nothing more posh than going down to Guy Ritchie's country estate and doing a bit of shooting. Yeah? Yeah. Where you've noticed that, uh, I'm sure it's the world over, but the dumbest birds in the world. They literally want to be killed while you're driving down the road. I'm not saying the birds are British. I'm yeah. just saying that those particular birds are not very smart. I've never done. I've never done shooting. By the way, I've only done it a few times, but it's the thing to do. Yeah, only with Guy Ritchie, or I don't want to say only with him. He might have been busy doing something else, but you yeah, know, it was on his property. I'm just. I, I think. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, just quite in awe of, no, awe I, I, of I you. You're calm a down big a hero bit. of mine. And, I really appreciate that, man. And um, no, and I really appreciate you. Uh, you talking to me. I'm sorry, just to fi finish, um, when I, inter I interviewed Mila Kunis before, yes. and I kicked myself that I didn't have, um, she asked if I had a Watford shirt to give her, because my football team's Watford Football Club, Okay. and I, and weirdly, like, we share the same last name, um, so I just was wondering you if you'd, uh, yeah, if you'd take this on behalf oh, of, dude. like, me and Hold my football second. club, and by the way, um, if you ever want to come to a Watford game, you're, you're more than welcome. And, uh, and, uh, Assigning me the number one means the world to me. Ah, uh, you're number one lad, aren't you? Thanks, dude. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Please don't forget me if my luck changes. <laughs> I won't. All right. Thank you so much. Dude, where's Watford?